In just two months, pieces of an asteroid will land in Utah's West Desert. There's nothing to worry about, though, because those pieces will be coming down by parachute. It's all part of a NASA mission that launched in 2016 with the goal of being able to answer some of the biggest questions about life on Earth. New specialist Alex Cabrera was at Dugway Proving Ground today to talk to those leading this mission. It doesn't look like much, but if the saying, big things, come in small packages, is true, well, it doesn't get any bigger than this. How did we get here on Earth? How did life form here on Earth? Those are questions humans have had since the dawn of time. In two months, Richard Witherspoon says this little capsule just might contain the answers. This is probably one of the most exciting moments I've ever had in my life. Witherspoon is part of a NASA mission called OSIRIS-REx that landed a spacecraft onto asteroid Bennu in 2020, collects some rocks there, and is currently bringing that material back to Earth. This capsule is a replica of the real thing containing those rocks, expected to land at the U.S. military's Dugway Proving Ground in Utah's West Desert in September. First time that we've ever robotically explored an asteroid, collected a sample and brought it to Earth. The success of the mission so far is because scientists and engineers were able to see where to land the spacecraft, see the collection of the material and then see it leave. The cameras allowing them to see some 200 million miles away from Earth were designed by Utah State University's Space Dynamics Laboratory. A lot of pressure has to work. Um, when you launch something to outer space, you're not going to be able to get up there and fix it. Now, once the capsule is picked up in the desert, it will be brought by helicopter to this building, which is also here at Dugway. Inside this building is that clean room. Now, the whole idea behind a clean room is to reduce as much contamination as possible from Earth's atmosphere and the landing zone. I'm pretty sure it just might be the cleanest room on base at this point. The room must be clean because scientists believe the samples collected could contain organic compounds from the time our planet and solar system were created possibly giving a big clue about how life formed here. Those are the type of things we're going to be looking for. It could be new, you know, other materials or minerals we've not seen. From Dugway, it'll be taken to NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, where scientists will figure out if those big questions can start being answered. In Dugway, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News.